Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM. Happy Hanukkah to everyone celebrating. We're in the middle of a double feature of movies based on stories by Yiddish writer Sholem Aleichem about one of his most memorable characters, Tevye the Milkman. Aleichem, known as the Yiddish Mark Twain, introduced Tevye in a short story published in 1894. Aleichem continued to feature Tevye as both the narrator and main character in a series of eight stories. Tevye is a Jewish everyman, a humble milkman who lives with his wife and seven daughters in a small village in Russian-controlled Ukraine. He's deeply religious, dedicated to studying his faith, even if he doesn't always quote the scriptures exactly right. He's also worn down, often complaining, kvetching about his lot in life, which usually involves tension between his own ancient traditions and a world around him that's modernizing too rapidly. Earlier tonight, we saw Tevye's story adapted in the Oscar-winning 1971 musical Fiddler on the Roof. Up next, we have a different interpretation. The Yiddish film from 1939, titled Tevye, written and directed by Maurice Schwartz. He adapted his own play. Schwartz, who founded the Yiddish Art Theater in New York, also stars in the title role. He played the part for the first time on stage two decades earlier. As you'll see, this is a much darker film than Fiddler on the Roof. Tevye's troubles begin when one of his daughters falls in love and marries a man who's Russian Orthodox, converting from Judaism to marry him, causing a rift in her family and their Jewish community. In addition to Schwartz, the cast features other members of the Yiddish Art Theater. The picture was shot on a potato farm on Long Island, so plenty of fresh latkes. Interiors were filmed in the Bronx at Biograph Studios. Here's the film from 1939, Tevye. The tensions between Tevye's Jewish community and its neighbors were eerily relevant when this movie hit theaters. During production on September 1st, 1939, the Nazis invaded Poland starting World War II. Much of the film's cast and crew had family members in Eastern Europe who were directly affected. The film represented a big success for its director, screenwriter, and star, Maurice Schwartz, who spent most of his career in the Yiddish theater. In 1991, Tevye became the first non-English language film selected for preservation in the Library of Congress's National Film Registry. While the character of Tevye might bring to mind the actors who have played him over the years, like Zero Mostel, Theodore Bickel, Topol, or Maurice Schwartz, he was actually based on a real person. Yiddish writer Sholem Aleichem and his family used to spend time at a summer home, and a local dairyman who lived nearby became the basis for Aleichem's most famous character. As Tevye's stories became popular, so did this man, much to his annoyance, until he realized that being known as the inspiration for Tevye wasn't so bad for the dairy trade. Coming up from Monogram Pictures in 1948, Don Castle and Elise Knox star in I Wouldn't Be in Your Shoes, which is maybe the worst movie title in film history. And since we're speaking of being the worst in film history, Eddie Muller will be here to introduce it on Noir Alley, next on TCM. Next on TCM, I wouldn't be in your shoes. Then chimes at midnight. And later, star of midnight. TCM shines bright tonight.